This is Trent Smith with the National Institute in Missoula, Montana, doing the winter weather impacts briefing for Sunday, January 27th. Uh, to start off, we do have an Arctic front uh, that's going to be pushing into uh, the northern Rockies, especially uh, western Montana, uh, Sunday night into Monday morning. This is one model's depiction on how that front will uh, be moving through the area. Uh, the biggest impacts are actually going to be during the overnight area with uh, light snow, maybe some moderate snow in places. Big thing is uh, gusty winds across uh, those tight canyons uh, like Bad Rock Canyon, across Kellspell. Then we'll probably see uh, some stronger uh, wind gusts around the Missoula area late tonight into tomorrow morning. We're looking at gust impacts of about uh, 35 miles per hour as this front comes in uh, through the area. Not a whole lot of precipitations anticipated to make it all the way over into Idaho. Maybe a few light showers uh, right along the Montana-Idaho border, but again, not a whole lot of impact. The biggest impact is going to be right along the divide and across southwest Montana. So how much snow can we anticipate with this? Uh, we're looking at predominantly less than an inch, probably even less than a half an inch for the majority of the area. Marias Pass maybe one to two inches, maybe up to three inches over McDonald Pass, maybe an inch over uh, Homestake Pass. Um, a couple of inches from Anaconda up to Georgetown Lake, but again, most part looking at less than a bit. Uh, less than an inch, uh, definitely less than a half an inch uh, the farther west you go uh, with the system. Probably some of the bigger impacts is that it's going to be bringing a, a significantly colder uh, air mass into the region. We're looking at lows tonight to be in about the mid-teens. Um, by uh, Monday night into Tuesday morning, lows will probably be single digits to low teens for much of uh, western Montana. Probably a little warmer over in the Idaho. Uh, Oral Fino, Grangeville, probably going to see lows in the 20s. Uh, highs during this time frame these uh, on Monday and Tuesday are probably going to be around about 10 degrees below normal. So probably mid-20s uh, for western Montana, uh, low to mid-30s for north central Idaho uh, during this time frame. Not a lot of weather is actually anticipated uh, for the re remainder of the week, uh, work week. So on Tuesday, we're going to kind of be under high pressure, really not looking at much in the way of any kind of precipitation. Then on Wednesday, uh, we are going to be under northwest flow. A very subtle feature is going to be coming down, uh, producing some light uh, snow across the region. It, the amounts are going to be less than an inch for, for most locations. How widespread, uh, that's we're a little bit uncertain at this time uh, with this feature. And then uh, through Thursday, not a, much is anticipated. Probably the next bigger system is come uh, the Friday time frame. We're going to start transitioning to a warmer southwest flow. It's going to allow a lot to more moisture to stream into the area. Snow levels will be rising uh, during this time frame. Temperatures will definitely be increasing. So there's going to be the potential for some snow, especially on Lookout, Lolo Pass, come uh, Friday afternoon time frame. Timing, a little bit uncertain. Amounts, uh, definitely uncertain at this time. Uh, but definitely a change is going to be coming for the latter part of the week into the weekend. So the threat matrix kind of emphasizes our two main areas of concern. The one is the Arctic boundary that's going to be coming through uh, late tonight through tomorrow morning. I think most of this impact is going to be overnight to maybe into the morning commute, but by Monday afternoon, uh, actually by mid-morning, all the snow should be done, but we'll still be having the colder air, the lingering snow across on the roadways. So that's an area of concern. And then by Friday, like I said, that southwest flow, um, We'll be pumping in, uh, went with uh, some impacts during this time frame, but snow levels will definitely be rising, so it's going to be more of a mountain pass uh, kind of a concern. So that's all I have for today. Our next briefing is scheduled for Thursday, January 31st. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call here at the National Weather Service at the number on the screen.